Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Wednesday, Bitcoin continues to accumulate. You guys know already this will last for some time. So if you usually enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, gently touch the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to touch the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Also, don't forget, and I will put it on the screen now for you guys to join our telegram group the url is right here so you know what to do open a browser write the url you will you will be taken to a page where you click a button and you automatically join automatically will join our telegram group and without further delay let's go to the charts okay so we start with the price to time model as usual nothing new here i can tell you guys since yesterday we had a green week last week but uh, this week we are having this red week again and we are still a bit delayed regarding comparing to the 2017 cycle the yellow candle pattern as i said yesterday and you guys can check uh, yesterday's video i was um, analyzing a bit better the price to time model and i reached the conclusion that since this point around here we have been ahead of time for for a long time already so actually we are a bit delayed but in comparison to all this part of the uh, of the candle pattern we have been ahead so long that now we of course were due for this big correction now we need to accumulate so the price of time model does not show anything new as compared to yesterday's video so you guys can check what i said about being ahead of time for a long time and of course this will give us a correction to follow so now we have to accumulate the rsi also continues the same no big changes there and i will just go and check the crypto total chart and this is the pro indicators uh, strategy so as you guys know we are still waiting to confirm still waiting to confirm that we have a second range boundary around here and we are continuing to the upside very very slowly but we are continuously having uh, an increase of the crypto total than uh, when we were here um i actually it doesn't matter this point because it was a quick going up again reversal of this candle to the upside so we were actually consolidating first around the 1.2 trillion and we are now around 1.45 trillion so we slowly and gradually are going up on the crypto total chart and i'm expecting to find resistance when we achieve when we reach sorry when we reach this uh wine color here which represents the 50 percent the exact middle between the support and resistance contexts so you guys know already that we navigate inside uh context channel and the bottom gray area is the support the upper gray area is the resistance so regarding the crypto total we continue to go up but we still did not confirm that this is a second range boundary as you guys know the yellow is dashed the yellow line is a dashed line so before this becomes a, a filled line in yellow we are still not confirmed as a second range boundary here However, the signs are good because we didn't uh, go below the support context just by a hair, but very, very, very small part of the week left behind was below the support context. So I don't even consider that this was broken and the support context actually held the crypto total uh, amount and now we are going up. So that's a good sign. Okay, so let's go to the... Uh, Bitcoin dominance chart which is also pro indicators chart here you can clearly see that we broke the support around 52 percent so we had a big big crash in Bitcoin dominance I guess the altcoins or shit coins were having a great day during all this time and Bitcoin dominance of course going down so we achieved this level of 40 percent in Bitcoin dominance which in fact is also a good sign because we have a higher low comparing to the low of 2018 so in this regard if we found a low here we are also um, going for a range boundary probably here and trying to recover to the upside but as you guys see very very extreme conditions the 50 percent line of the context is now below the support or exactly at the same level as the bottom part by a hair 
is almost uh, at the bottom part of the support context. So that means that when we started the new month, of course, we had this big drop in the support context, which will now start to form around here, close to the 40% uh, area where we had the Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance that is now going down again. So, but I'm not expecting a new low below the 40%, but struggling right now to go up so it means that altcoins are also shitcoins sorry are also uh, having um, a nice period at least a sustainable um, accumulation not really going up because you don't see any altcoins going extremely to the upside but it's not been easy for bitcoin to increase the bitcoin dominance for this period so uh no big news here on bitcoin dominance also uh no altcoin season because we are not going below 40 percent i guess for the short term period also no shitcoin winter because bitcoin is struggling to get back above the 45 percent so let's see how this goes but for now the bitcoin dominance is very very stable for the last few uh weeks yes each bar is a week so for the last few weeks has been stable above the 40 percent area so leaving this all behind let's go and see and talk about something that i wanted to tell you guys and let me just uh hide all the plottings i have here so you guys can see so we are now on the monthly chart the mri strategy and we are on the monthly chart we are now having this kind of rounded uh, end of this drop I was telling you guys about on the previous videos. Um, I guess three videos ago, two videos ago and the last video also. So I just wanted to reinforce this idea. And I was also checking the opening price of this candle, which is the current month, which we are now in July. And the opening price for that candle was $35,068, which means, and this is what I wanted to say, I wanted to see this before the close of July. I wanted to see this at least to become a green doji. And that because I, uh, you guys know already that a green doji is a sign of reversal of the price action. So if during the month of July, we have this become at least a green doji, which means closing July above $35,068, 35,100 dollars would be great for me if this becomes a green doji it will be a very very good sign that we could be seeing a price reversal structure and that would be a very nice thing to have in bitcoin which means that if by the end of july we have a green doji we could see august to become the price reversal action month and that would be very nice to see it uh, bottom during the summer actually like tone vase just said in his videos yesterday um, he would also uh, bet that the bottom for this year or the bottom after this correction will be made during the summer so that would make july actually june because we have a lower low here in june but it, it would make july and august the two months of the price reversal to the upside so this is very important i would like you guys to keep focused on this and let's see if during the month of july we can have at least a green doji here if not going to the upside already and not even waiting for august but that's just you know, uh, I don't like to say prediction because we don't predict anything in this channel, but it's just something I, I'm forecasting that it could happen and I would like to see it happen. So that's it for the monthly chart. RSI neutral, MACD bearish. Uh, sorry, still bullish, but becoming bearish. And you guys see that the gap is decreasing between the two lines there and the bars are also decreasing in size. So for the monthly chart, no big news there. So let me just check the weekly chart no big news here we are still consolidating nothing new since yesterday so let me check the daily and i know that in uh here in the daily chart um on the daily chart i see something which is important and i should notice also this for you guys notice the pattern that we have here i'm just going to draw it so we have a low here and then we have a higher low here and then we have a higher low here. And then we have another higher low here. 
actually a bit to the left on that candle over there so i would just like you guys to notice the pattern so we are having higher lows on the daily chart and this is really important because if we continue to have higher lows in this chart it means that really really soon we are going to break this level and this level is very very important to break right now because it was the previous swing high here and the previous swing high here exactly the same level and now we are going to face and this is the big challenge now for us to break this level around the 36,000, we are going to face the 50 period sma which is the yellow line you guys see here coming down in a fury i guess it will give us a big fight so we will need all the strength of the bulls to overcome this resistance here uh you guys know this already so the levels of resistance and support and of course now joining that resistance we have the 50 period sma however this is still a chart that i really enjoy at the current moment because we are having higher highs on the daily and we have the bullish divergence on the rsi so this is this is very important you guys know already that the rsi is going sideways up trending up trending sideways but we are still maintaining this trend line the white line here that you guys can see on your screen this white line here is supporting the rsi so far we did not break it to the downside and the rsi is still not even at the mid level of the rsi levels so regarding the daily chart higher highs uh trying to face very very soon we will have to face the resistance around 36k and the 50 period sma however the rsi presents us with a bullish divergence which i hope will give the bulls the strength necessary to break the resistance of the 36 and the 50 period sma so this is a chart that you should keep an eye on and uh actually the most interesting chart so far or at least currently for bitcoin so i will keep an eye on the daily chart and i will report back to you guys as soon as i see any signs of what could happen soon because i believe that we are having a, an ascending triangle around here at this level and this could mean a break to the upside a breakout of this triangle to the upside so let's see what happens we will need some more time to see if we are able to break those resistances or if the 50 period sma will send us back down to new lows which of course would be not so nice but probably would continue the accumulation period which means that we would have to wait some more time to see bitcoin going to the upside again okay so that's the daily chart uh regarding the macd we are still having slight signals of bullishness the blue line above the orange and the bars continue to be green although i don't see the bars growing in size but this is still a very very light bullish sign so keep that in mind that's it for the daily let's quickly go to the four hours and check the bitmax funding rate bitmax funding rate which is now showing that longs are increasing so we are now a bit above the zero and we are at 0 0.007 so one of the reasons why this candle now is red so as you guys know i use this as an inverse sentiment of the market every time i see longs in a positive uh number here um, you guys know already that this uh, the market sentiment shows the opposite on the chart so that's why we have been going up here while the bitmax funding rate was negative well actually almost neutral the premium was negative and now that we have longs and no negative premium of course this is changing the uh, price action of course also this could be an mri 124 candle correction but we still have this big resistance to break and you guys know the uh, vpvr shows a lot of buys and sells around the 35,000. so this is not an easy area to overcome and then we have the 36 and the 50 period sma on the daily so you guys know what will happen facing big resistance of course so that's it for the mri let me just check here with the pro indicator strategy on bitcoin daily chart 
So, and for the daily chart, you guys know that this is also a second range boundary, which is still not confirmed. But my uh, biggest focus on this chart here on the pro indicators is this area. If we continue to go up, of course, we will meet soon with the mid context channel and the trend channel coming down at the same time and this will be really hard to overcome and that area is around if they meet around the mid channel here it's around the 42 41 thousand dollars for bitcoin so this is another area of big big resistance if we are able to overcome the 36 thousand so you guys also have to keep an eye here but the fact that we didn't break this uh, ranging channel to the downside and that in fact the support context held the price not even by hair it was exactly exactly as predicted uh, <laughs> it was exactly at the bottom of the support uh, of this context here the the, the support context so that's one of the reasons why we went back up in fury and we are now waiting to confirm the second range boundary on the daily of the pro indicator strategy so you guys see here the the yellow line is still dashed so we have to wait there until we have a confirmation of a second range boundary uh, however the momentum as i said yesterday you should check yesterday's video the momentum is going up again so let's see how the bulls are able to fight the bears and if we can overcome those two big resistances that are on the way right now so uh, these are the areas of interest of course the area of the 36,000 because you saw it on the MRI strategy chart on the daily we are having higher highs but we are achieving always that level around the 36,000 and coming back down and here you can see that one of the biggest interest areas also if we overcome that one will be the 40 to 42,000 so we have to keep an eye on that but so far so good bitcoin held the price here which was expected at the bottom of the ranging channel and we are now going up and let's see what this accumulation will bring us in the future okay so that's it for bitcoin let me just check the dollar very quickly so the dollar was able to uh, surpass the trend line and this I don't like you guys know of course that I'm still waiting for this support down here to be broken so let's see when will this happen but in the general terms I'm waiting for the dollar to go back down because this is unsustainable just printing money by the tons and the dollar going up is not very very uh, rational so I'm still waiting for this irrationality to stop and actually the dollar going to the place that it deserves which is below the 89 on the Dixie and let's see when this happens I'm still waiting so this is the support area that I discussed with you guys for a long time already this goes from the 89 to the 90 on the Dixie and I'm still waiting after all these um, reversals of the price action on the dollar here going to the upside as soon as it touches the support I'm still waiting for the dollar to come back down and going to the place that it deserves below the orange support area so that's it for the dollar we don't have any more news but I, I don't believe the dollar will continue to go up and break actually break the previous uh, swing high uh, level which was around 93 93.4 so this is just no man's land and I guess soon enough we will see a reversal here so that's the dollar let me check gold I guess gold continues to go up since yesterday yesterday I discussed a bit more about gold but mainly we continue to maintain this uh, trend line here the support of the trend line the white one and the dollar actually reversed after the one to four candle correction that uh, happened immediately after an MRI top here on the chart of the MRI strategy so we had the warning on this candle then it became an MRI top exactly exactly on the candle that went above all the others and then we had the one to four candle correction however gold continues to find support on this trend line which is very important of course for the gold bugs and Peter Schiff 
uh, Peter Schiff, I guess, is very, very happy. But this will not last long, of course, because Bitcoin will overpass the dollar soon enough so that we can make jokes with Peter Schiff on Twitter. Uh, so <laughs> that was the funny moment for gold. And now the SMP again fighting, fighting, fighting. And this is this is becoming interesting. The SMP fought to be to be above the trend line again and getting inside the wedge and now showing again some uh, signs that the bears are not enjoying the situation and sending the price back down. So as long as we remain above the trend line, this is still this is still um, a bull price action here. But guys, this to me, this was a sign that something is wrong. And uh, this morning I was discussing with a friend of mine uh, about the stock market being so strong in the United States. And of course, I told him that when you print trillions of dollars, actually the market can go up synthetically, which means this is not an organic uh, rise of the stock market. I believe that those trillions of dollars being printed can actually uh, be the reason why the stock market is continuing to go up. But of course, well, you guys know that when this is not organic, it will have a sad ending. And this might have been the first sign of that bad ending. So guys, be really careful, be really careful, keep an eye on this trend line and keep an eye on the S&P 500 because it might it might soon something happen here soon something could happen here and uh it will not be pretty so that's it for the analysis of today let me just stop the screen share and of course guys tell you guys again that if you enjoy this content gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel don't forget the bell notification uh, the notification bell sorry i'm always swapping all my words now today um, so if you want to be notified just use the notification bell and select all and of course i will leave you guys now with the wise words that usually end the video all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there that's it guys let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets i'll see you again for another short update tomorrow see you guys bye bye